Bob. Hello, Scott. Good to see you again. Money has been pouring into ETFs this year, but now it's happening for a different reason. Over the weekend, Dimensional Fund Advisors has converted four of their mutual funds into ETFs in the largest ever conversion from mutual funds to ETFs. Let's talk to Dimensional's CEO, Gerard O'Reilly. Gerard, we're talking about nearly $30 billion in mutual funds converted to ETFs over the weekend. What's the rationale? Why were you going to go ahead and do that? Thanks, Bob, and good to see you again. Yeah, the rationale, you know, if you look at these uh, mutual funds, they're called tax-managed mutual funds, and they have a long and strong track, uh, track record. Uh, they've been managed with an eye towards tax efficiency uh, over the past 20-plus years. Many of them were incepted in the early 90s. And when you look at their tax efficiency ratios, it's quite similar uh, to ETFs. So you, kinda, you have this set of funds that have been managed with an eye towards tax efficiency, and we're happy to be leading the industry uh, in converting them over to uh, ETFs. Part of that tax efficiency came from how we managed the uh, dividend income. But when you look now at the additional tools that ETFs bring to the table, I think that we'll be able to achieve even higher tax efficiency ratios uh, in those funds going forward. Uh, so very excited about the conversion over the weekend and the listing on the uh, NYSE today. Uh, a lot of work coming to fruition and uh, a lot of work with clients uh, that clients are very excited about. Now, you manage about $630 billion. It's mostly institutional money. Dimensional has been known as a low-cost fund for value investors largely. And for the first time in a long time, value has been outperforming growth in 2021. Small caps have been outperforming large caps in 2021. Is this a trend that has legs? It hasn't been going on very long. Or is this something that's just long overdue? Are we just talking about mean reversion? Well, you know, Bob, how we think about value and small cap uh, investing. We think it just makes sense uh, in the sense of there have to be stocks out there in the marketplace that have higher expected returns and the lower price you pay, generally the higher the expected return. Uh, and so this is kind of what we expect more back to normalcy, uh, while the premiums over the course of 2021 have been quite large and, and, uh, and very enjoyable. When you look at small value versus large growth, uh, those stocks have been outperforming by over 20 percentage points over the course of the year to date. Uh, and a lot of the investors in our strategies have benefited from uh, that level of outperformance and the overweights to small and value stocks. Uh, so something that we expect, we expect it every day, and uh, certainly it's been uh, realized over the course of 2021. And actually, if you go back almost 12 months now, you see similar levels of outperformance of small value versus large growth. Okay, thanks very much, Gerard. Much more with Gerard on growth versus value, small caps versus big caps, and on why managing accounts for tax efficiency is so important for overall returns. ETF Edge, 105 p.m. Eastern Time. Gerard will be joined by Dave Nodig, Chief Investment Officer at ETF Trends. Remember, etfedge.cnbc.com.